Keys. And uh, I was walking with Natasha and I said, listen, uh, like the power little people, I raised my hand, I'm like a black power salute. And she laughed, well, she's always silly too. Then other times in the hospital and this beautiful Asian woman, uh, she's a nurse and she's like born a generation after me. And uh, I kept flirting and flirting with her. And I remember I took with another EMT. I'm like, I can imagine if I went to her house and asked out for a date and her father see me and he look at me like, who are you? And I said, uh, I came here to pick up uh, Susie. He's a Uber driver. And I said, like, no, nah, that's a horrible accent. I'm not trying to make fun. And uh, I was like, nah, I'm just, you know, I can imagine doing like Kung Fu stands. Like I'd studied Kung Fu for four years. Another time, uh, me and my mom, it was a happy memory, one of the happiest memories of my mom. And uh, she was, uh, uh, the Sixers was in the finals with Allen Iverson. And we rode around with a car and just honked the horn. And it was just funny to me. My mom was, a, she loved Star Trek, the old one back in the 1960s with Captain Kirk. And she actually went to a convention one time. And I said, Mom, you're a nerd. I remember when I was a kid, I used to do this in first grade. And uh, that was really cool for first grade, like Spock. And then uh, I wrote down some stuff. Uh, my favorite thing is she told me advice that I remember years later is that you want the truth, watch movies. And my dad's uh, best advice was don't pee in my head and tell me it's raining. Anyway, uh, my uncle gave me advice too. He said uh, <laughs> all women look the same upside down. And he told a story about an old boy and a young boy. The young boy said, let's run down the hill and have sex with the cows. And the old boy says, let's walk down. Just sleep more. That's an old joke. And then uh, he also told me, he learned from older people he should. And I realized now that I'm older. And then another one, uh, he said, you can walk past the snake once, you can walk past it twice or three times, but eventually it's going to strike you. And DMX said the best. He was like, yo, see people as they are. If there's a snake, expect them to bite. If there's a thief, expect them to steal, uh, et cetera, et cetera. All right, there's more than five things that happened that's really crazy in my life. Um, I, I lived in Minneapolis for a short time. I got much advanced job for Prince, Purple Rain movies, and theaters at the same time. A woman I dated named Lydia. Her boyfriend's Andre Simone. That was Prince's best friend. I didn't meet Prince. He was overseas shooting under the cherry moon. Anyway, uh, we used to go to this club a lot. And uh, the guy uh, I went to get, her friend, in the movie, uh, Jerome threw in the trash can. Her name was Sandy. But she was outside, I couldn't find her. I went back in, I was drunk on Long Island Tea. The bouncer kind of liked my Lydia, but she never gave him, you know, paying no attention. He used to be a professional football player. He said I couldn't go back in, so I went back anyway. He grabbed me, threw me on the ground, blah, 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 blah. And uh, the cops arrested me at spending jail. I was in jail for one night in Minneapolis. That was dumb. Um, in the army, I got in a fight with the biggest guy in the platoon. He used to call him Kong. And the reason being, we was drunk at the club one time, and he knows I like white women. He's from the Midwest. He played Division One football, and he was like, oh, uh, why are you always talking to white women? He because I want to. And uh, so once you go tilt a cow over or something, then uh, we got in a fight, and uh, it was nobody really I got in a fight with him. He was just like six, six, 200 pounds. And I tried to knee him in the private parts, and he busted my lip, punched me in the face, but we got separated. And then we had to stay a week after graduation. Uh, Another thing that happened, I got in a fight. Uh, Veronica, after we broke up, she was staying this African guy and she went to this bar. And uh, this is right after he broke up. I went in there and her brother gave me a joke, uh, a coat. It's like a Lakers coat or something. It was really cool. And I wore it. And, um, and I went in there and saw uh, the guy with her. And I'm like, yo, this is a girl I lived for a year, 15 months. I had sex with her, did what I want. And now we broke up. So I went to him like, yo, we almost got in a fight. And I said, yo, F you, could And I was trying to swing him. The bouncer came and threw me at the bar. I'm just naming things that's crazy. I was in the army. And this guy was racist, uh, and uh, it's like some um, Ender the Dragon with Bruce Lee. It was just like that. And he was bigger than me, and I remember he had pico sticks in the army, and he's like Q-tips, and he tried to hit somebody. I remember he told me his friend, believe it or not, that I was in Fort McClellan, Alabama. The guy there, he said his brother is part of um, the KKK, and the list of black guy, the last one known, and they got sued and everything. It's in Jet Magazine, and um, he was talking to him. I said, what you say? And then I uh, remember that it was just weird. We got a people stand. I, I was so Adam so much like Aaron Pryor, one of my favorite fighters back in the 80s. I then had no defense. I just went and I knocked him off his head. But then the drill started to tackle me down, so he made me do the extra duties.